Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create this minimalist animated guideline effect in PowerPoint. This is straight to the point tutorial. I'll teach you as simple as possible. After you watch this video, I believe you can create it in less than 5 minutes probably even faster. First of all, go to insert and then select your picture. In this case, make sure it's your 69 ratio. Otherwise, you'll need to crop it later. Now, insert circle shape and then draw it on your slide. Here, I adjust the size in this option. Why I'm doing this? It's because I just want to be precise, guys. Drag it to the center and then change the fill to no fill. Change the shape outline to white and then add a little bit of weight. Zoom in, duplicate the circle and then put the another one to the middle. Duplicate it again and then drag it to the right. Now, duplicate it again and then put it in between of the circles like this. Now, select and block the circles, go to shape format and then distribute it horizontally. Let me drag this to the center a little bit. Alright. Now, go to insert, click on icon. Here, you can pick whatever icon you want based on your presentation topic. But for me, let's say I want to make a presentation about architect surface. So this is gonna be five icons that I need. Once you're done, click on insert. Hit graphics fill and then change the icon color to white. Drag the icons for a sec and then put the icons below every circles like this. Zoom in and then carefully reduce the size of the selected icon. Place it in the whole of the circles. For the second one, reduce the size and do the same thing like before. And for remaining icons, we do the exact same thing like we did for the others. Alright, now select and block the shape and the icon, groups every objects and icons into 5 separate groups. Now go to shape format and then click on straight line shape on the corner. When you draw it, make sure to start it from this transparent dot and link it to another dot like this. Change the color to white and then add some weight. Now duplicate it by how many lines you need. Just like before, link one circle with another circle beside it. You're just gonna make sure if the dot and the line will stick with each other. By the way, linking the shapes is important because whenever you move one shape, the link one will always follow according to wherever the shapes move. Look at this. They still stick each other. Alright. Now go to slide pane and then duplicate it by how many as you want. In this case, I duplicate it 5 times. On slide 2, carefully increase the size of this object. I'll use this object as guide for the others. So right click and add to horizontal guide. Put the guide, I mean the horizontal line, according to how big the circle is. Once you're done, click the shape and then change the color to white. Click the white icon and then in graphic format, change it to black. Alright, believe me, next step will be much easier. Go Go to slide 3, here click the second circle, change the color to white. Click on the icon and then in graphics format, change the color to black. While holding Ctrl and Shift key, drag it to make it bigger. This is where the guidelines is really important. You'll know if the circles you're adjusting were too big or too small, thanks to the line. Now go to slide 4, zoom in. Increase the size of the next circle. Go to shape format, change the color to white. In graphics format, change the icon color to black. Now go to the next slide, you'll do the exact same principle. Change the circle color to white, change the icon color to black, and then increase the size of the object. Go to the last slide, click on the last icon, and then increase the size. In shape format, change it to white, and then in graphics format, change the icon to black. Now guys, it's looking good. Now it's time for the text. So go back to slide 2, because this example is for architect service, you know, I mean the path of the architect will follow to get his job done, something like that. So let me type the first step with vision. Everything start from vision, right? Now align the text to the center, add a little bit of bold and then adjust the position a little bit. Now to keep the every slides organized, especially the text in the next step, I'll add another one horizontal line and put it in line with the text box. Copy the text and then go to the next slide, paste the text and then drag it to the right. Rename the text and then copy it. Go to the next slide, paste the text, drag it to the right and then rename the text. Copy the text box and then on the next slide, paste it. Still same principle. Drag it to the right and rename the text. Copy it again and then on the next slide, paste it. Drag it to the right and then rename the text. Just like that. Alright, now select and block every slide. Go to transition tab and activate move transition. Change the effect option to characters and then adjust the duration as you like. It's already good. Now for the bonus part, this is where you can put your title. Here, select and block every icons while holding shift key drag down the icons like this. Go to insert and then add a text box. This is where you can put your title for your presentation. All right, so this is how your slide will look like. Simple is more. You can always use this principle for another presentation. By the way, if you wanna learn how to create another slider effect, the easier one or even the harder one, just go and click the link on the end screen. 
subscribe this channel if you don't want to miss another straight to the point tutorial. Thanks for watching.